35. What is the difference between a one molarity solution and a one molality solution? Okay, so we could say one molarity, one molar, tomato, tomato, right? Capital M is always for molarity. Now this fancy lowercase italic stem, usually I write it kind of like that, but this lowercase m is molality. <laughs> so many m's, right? So there is a unit for a molarity, and then there's the sister, I guess, or the relative to molarity, which is molality. So basically the R translates into an L. But now what's the difference between these units, molarity versus molality? Well, let's put up the formulas. The formulas for molarity and molality is, well, are this. Okay, so nice and big. We got molarity on the left, molality on the right. Now, if we are saying that we have a molarity of one capital M, we can assume that we can make up any values for the numerator and the denominator. They just have to equal to one, right? They did tell us that we have one molarity. So whether you want to do one divided by one, two divided by two, three divided by three, they're all going to equal one. So I guess just to make this easy for ourselves, what we're do is we'll just bring these a little bit down and play with the, the units here. So if we have one molarity, right? Let's move this over and just put in numbers for just the numerator and the denominator, and then we will use our units. So we'll say one divided by one. So what does a one molarity mean? Well, that means that you have only one mole of solute in the one liter of solution. So we have one mole of solute per, because per means division, and there's a division sign, per one liter of total solution. Keep in mind that a solution is always your solute plus your solvent. Now, molality, let's do the same exact idea here. Maybe we'll put it in green highlights. One, and then one over one. One molality would still mean that you have one mole of your solute, so that doesn't change. But now you're discussing it in terms of just your solvent, not your solution. So for the molarity and the molality formula, the numerator is exactly identical. You're talking about your moles of your solute. And in this case, you have one mole of solute per, which is division, for every one kilogram of solvent. And the solvent is not the total solution. The solvent is just the liquid medium in which you're dunking your solute into. So the solute goes into the solvent and together they make the solution. So this would be the difference is that whenever you're talking about a molarity, it's per a liter of your whole entire solution. But for molality, you're only discussing it per how many kilograms you have of your solvent. This does not state part over whole because the whole would be the whole entire solution. So molality just basically makes a relationship or a ratio between how much solute, how much small uh, substance you have per the liquid medium. The molarity, on the other hand, talks about how much of the small substance you have per your entire solution. So that is the difference. They only wanted the difference. The similarities would be that you're still talking about moles of solute. So that's the same. 
but the difference here is that the denominator liters of whole entire solution versus just kilograms of a solvent is different. And that is the answer to this question. So hopefully this helped. Um, just make sure you know these formulas inside and out. Molarity is used way more than molality. Generally speaking, if you're only talking about colligative properties, uh, you're going to be doing your molality formula, but molarity is all over the place. So hopefully this helped. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel to help us out. Thank you so much. And I will talk to you in future lessons. Okay, bye-bye.